Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft with you. I'm not sure why I always say it like that. I just feel like it has to be said like that. It sounds very Seinfeldish. Guys, in today's episode, I have been I've been building I've been building a whole bunch of little things. First of all, I'm gathering blocks because I have to figure out what path I'm going to start building or what blocks I'm going to start using to build my path. Oh my goodness, that was a handful. A mouthful? Probably a mouthful. <laughs> Not off to a good start this episode. Not off to a good start. Anyway, I'm gathering a bunch of blocks. I've also started building my spider monkey exhibit. Very, very um, rudimentary so far. It's just a border and some fencing. And speaking of fencing, I need to gather a bunch of iron to build some more wire fence. So today is going to be sort of a mishmash of different things, which is kind of exciting because I typically do um, either exploration or an exhibit build. This time, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of little things. So far, I have not found much iron. Ooh, that's really nice. I haven't done, like, traditional caving in such a long time. I love it. And if you've if you've been around my channel for a while, you know how much I love it. In fact, I love it so much that I invented a game based around caving called Abbot Caving. If you didn't know about Abbot Caving, Google it. Wiki it. It's amazing. It's amazing. And on this very server, there will be a version of Abbot Caving as a mini game. That will be released, I think, relatively quickly. We've uh, we've tested it once, and um, it's being worked on, and so uh, I can't wait to have it ready to go. In the meantime, okay, I've got 23 of these guys. This, by the way, is the um, the bottom of the spider monkey exhibit that I'm using. I'm gonna do a different exhibit for every different type of spider monkey, which there are four different types. So. Um, this is the first one, and this is going to be for the black one, I believe, because I think it's the one I have the most of. Ooh, some more iron right here. Another thing that I'd like to get built today. Oh, I should have told I should have told you this already. I'm also redoing my storage room because it was in my attic, and now it's in my basement. Much, much bigger area. In fact, it's so big that I want to sort of design it in a way that is easily expandable. So I... I don't know what that was. So I'm uh, I'm kind of building it. I don't think I'm going to be able to access it from the house just because of the way the, the ladder would work to get down there. I think what I want to do is access it from the outside. So it's techni technically a basement, but technically a separate room in and of itself. You know what? I should probably just show you. Oh, here's some more iron. We're going to go and check it out right now. Slash home. Boop. So this is my old storage room right here. You can see it's very much depleted. I still have to organize the little things, but all the blocks have been relocated to my basement, which again, I'm not gonna have access through here. I'm probably gonna do kind of like a covered area over here or the opposite direction. The reason I might do it over here is because there's less land here to expand as opposed, oh, I built this thing too. Check it out, a nice little staircase to get up to the house. It was kind of awkward before, and now it's a little bit easier to access. But um, yeah, see over here, it kind of slopes less uh, steeply. It's a more gradual slope, so there's a lot more land to play with here. But I think I have a lot of chests underneath already. See that? Boom, cobblestone, granite, day site, concrete, soapstone. I'm not gonna read all of them. But anyway, all the, most of the stones are on, or I guess, yeah, most of the stones are on this side. If I wanna put more stone, I either expand this way, or expand this way. Again, I think expanding this way is the smarter thing to do. However, having the access to it on this side is not the most convenient because it's on the opposite side of the house. And then over here, I have a bunch of wood, a bunch of wood, but not even close to all the, um, the versions of wood. So yeah, ice, podzel, grass, gravel, all that wonderful stuff is over here and I've got some empty spots here. Speaking of which, I have some scoria cobblestone and I am out of chests, so, well, I guess I could put it in this one. Where is my oak wood? Right here. I have one sign left. This, see, this is where it gets weird. Scoria, is it two R's? Scoria stone, we'll say. Did I do it right? Oh, it's one R. Dang it. This is where it gets weird, because this is technically stone. I guess I can move concrete sandstone clay soapstone you know what i'm gonna move the clay i'm gonna move the clay so we're gonna put the scoria scoria stone stone 
It's here. There we go. Scor get the clay out of there. Put the scoria stone in here. We have soapstone. I already had a thing for soap. Oh, it was right above. How convenient. And then I'm going to put the clay down here. The clay at least fits more with this side of the, um, the room. I mean, this is going to drive me nuts. I'm going to end up moving the clay over here somewhere and then moving probably leaves out over here. But for now, we're just going to live with it. Cobblestones over here. See, this keeps things a lot more um, organized. Let's go up. Ah, there we go. It's such a convenience to be able to fly. By the way, if you play on this server, we have added the ability to actually purchase claim blocks instead of waiting until you accumulate them accumulate them via playtime, which is um, something that will help the server out. If you're interested, definitely give a look to uh, to purchasing those because, yeah, it helps the server maintain its serverness. Check this out. This is what I've got for the spider monkey exhibit. Let me show you how many spider monkeys I have. I have to actually tame all these guys. I look at this. The black spider monkey. The black-headed spider monkey. I have a lot. What's that? 13 of them? 13 of them in here. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So the idea is I'm going to have this fence go up a couple, probably three, four, maybe even five more rows. I want it to be kind of, of a tall exhibit. And then I'm going to put this on top as well, at least on the border. And then put like a wire mesh above, probably like a wire slab because that does exist. Oh, wait. Yeah, right there. See that? Boom. Wire slab. I think that'll look kind of nice. And it's just three wire fences. And then, of course, I'm going to do a wire door as well for access into the exhibit. But that's going to be a really, really nice exhibit because I'm going to probably plant or construct, I should say, one single tree in the middle and then have a lot of, like, sticks and ropes and stuff around that single tree leading to little platforms and stuff for, for the monkeys to, um, the spider monkeys to enjoy. I think they'll really, really like that. Anyway, back I go into the cave because I need to find more iron. Oh, and I forgot to finish my thought earlier. I would love to have an enchanting set up somewhere as well. So that's something else that I'd love to build, probably near my house, a nice little small, maybe a gazebo style thing for enchanting. I think that'd be a lot of fun, especially since I want some fortune enchants, and I don't have any fortune enchants. To do that, I only have one diamond, though. I need to find another diamond, and then I need to find some uh, some lava for obsidian. Then we can build that. Uh, oh, there's blueberry bushes down here? Hold on. Do, do I shear blueberries? So if I do this, aha! Oh, I just broke it. Okay, that's kind of cool. Blueberry bushes. That's odd that they'd be growing way down here but that's okay that's okay Ooh, more iron here i guess i could use the silk touch pick it's not really a big deal Ooh, look at that sometimes i get double because of my mining level that's pretty good stuff let's go right here okay fantastic do we have more down here i want like just one diamond would be great then i can build my enchanting setup and enchant stuff Ooh, this is a really, really cool biome. It's got a bunch of glowy mushroom blocks. It's got willow logs, and it's got this. I don't know what this is. I'm going to go ahead and hope that when I silk touch it, it's not going to be like some sort of just podzel, but just looks different because it's in a different biome. I also want to get a stack of willow logs here because I like the green wood. These guys are very tempting to get, but I think I have a bunch of them still. So, And they're easy to find, so even if I don't... I'm just not going to grab them just yet. I've also got almost three stacks of iron so far, which is very, very nice. It's probably more than enough for the fence that I need, but I know I'm going to need iron like crazy in the future. So why not get some more? Whoa, these look awesome. Now, I don't have silk. This is why I want an enchanting setup so I can like get silk touch in on my axe and stuff like that. I think that would be really, really good. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, it doesn't drop anything. I'm guessing, yeah, Silk Touch definitely, oh, those are so cool. I don't know how I'd use them for an exhibit, but I feel like I kind of have to. I kind of have to use them for an exhibit at some point. I also want to get some Willow, but I don't want to, like, destroy the integrity of these trees. So, stuff like this, where the Willow Logs are kind of, like, 
uh, all over the place, I don't feel bad about. So let me get 64 of these guys. And then hopefully Silk Touch that stuff over there that looks like a version of Podzil, but is not. I hope. Moment of truth. Here we go. Oh. Whoa. Why does that make me move so slowly? Water Silk. I feel like that's probably rare. I don't think I've seen that before. Water Silk? Duckweed, that's this stuff, right? Oh, no, that's seagrass. Oh, I'm so confused. Anyway, let me try. Oh, that looks different. Glocelium block. I was not expecting it to be a type of mycelium or mushroom related. I guess it makes sense that it's mushroom related. Oh my goodness, this stuff makes you move real, real slow. I like all this stuff. I haven't done like a water exhibit yet, but I or an exhibit with a lot of water, I should say. Definitely haven't done like a water only exhibit, which maybe that should be uh, on our list of to do of things to do or exhibits to build in the coming episodes. But for now, I'm going to grab 64 of these guys as well. I wonder if that's spreadable onto regular dirt. I bet it is. What's that one? Red root floater. I think I have some of those. That's duckweed. I see. Okay, so you can walk quickly through duckweed, but the water silk really slows you down. This is the water silk. No, this is the duckweed. Oh, gosh, I'm so confused. Anyway, let me get 64 more of these guys. There's not a lot of them, actually. All right, we've got some willow wood here, some glocelium. And some obsidian. I got a little bit of obsidian. Not a whole lot. I still don't know where I'm going to make the um, the whole enchanting setup. Like I said, I kind of want to make it outside in a gazebo style thing, but I'm not 100% sure yet. In the meantime, though, how far do I have to mine? Maybe I should just do one block and then go from there. How, do, how far do I have to mine to get this to an entrance or to like an exit? This might be underwater. No, 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 no. This is definitely not underwater because I'm on a hill. Yeah. Okay. So let me just go ahead. I'm going to, I'm going to mine straight. So the entrance is going to be over here. Aha. So it's not that much at all. And then this way I can keep expanding. Maybe I'll even put like the enchanting setup down here. It could be all underground setups and stuff. That'll be kind of cool because then I won't have to worry about how it'll fit into the zoo aesthetic. Oh, that's kind of a, oh, wow. That's not really the greatest of entrances here, is it? Well, we'll leave it like this for now. Maybe I'll dig out the 3x3 three three, or 3x4, I should say, just so that I have a little bit of uh, room to play with when I decide to make it fancy, which is not happening in this episode. That'll happen in the next one. What I should do in this one, though, is finish that spider monkey exhibit. And in order to do that, we're going to need some more wire fence. Now, the wire fence... Wire fence there it is it need okay full nuggets and ingots so let me grab a bunch of nuggets here in fact let me change probably i don't know 10 of these into nuggets and now we can do the wire fence Ooh, that's gonna be a lot that's good though because i'm sure i'm gonna use it again at some point but i also want to make a wire door which is three fences and three nuggets i still have nuggets so let me just do one wire door for now I'm hoping it falls in line with the rest of the wire fence because that would be silly if it didn't. Like, if it kind of sits, because the wire fence sits in the middle. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be good. That doesn't make any sense. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't the wire door sit in the middle of the block? Hmm. I'll have to figure something out here. What the heck? It's a little possum. Oh, you're so cute. Wait, I need to know information about you. Where'd you go? The case of the disappearing possum. What? Were the animals just wiped? I didn't see a... Entities will be removed in 300 seconds. This po... There you are, you little... Oh, you're scared. You're a frightened little guy, huh? Come here, I want to have information on you. There we go. A possum. This is a wild animal. Health 10. Fertility 5. Favorite food cooked. Medium meats. Okay. Oh, you have... Okay, so you eat a lot of insects, fish, meat. So you're like pretty much... You'll eat anything, really, other than... I guess you're a carnivore. 
because you it doesn't look like you eat any sort of vegetation. Okay, good to know. Anyway, let's go finish up that, uh, I guess, the barrier around that exhibit. I gotta admit, putting these fences down is a bit of a pain. First of all, they have a very small hitbox. Second of all, they're hard to see. <laughs> so I don't even know half the time if I'm placing it correctly. I mean, I know now. The way I was doing it before was from the ground, and uh, from the ground is not very easy. Let's go ahead and continue these guys. So, I guess what I could do for the door is, um... Oh, man, these leaf blocks. Come on, now. For the door, I could just do, like, the full blocks and then put the fence door down, because that will work. Oh, goodness. There's the entity removal. My friend, the opossum is gone forever. <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it. All right, let me connect this end and then I'll show you what I have planned for the door, which is not my favorite. I really wish the door actually kind of fit in line with with these guys, but it just uh, alas, it is not to be. So, if I do this, yeah, look at that. Silly. Silly, right? Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the door like this. Okay? And now that's just four blocks. Perfect. I don't even I don't even need a um what's it called? A crafting bench. That's three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think. One, two, three, four. Uh yeah, I think I was right. So we'll just remove these guys. I'm assuming the fence will connect to this, because if it doesn't, oh my goodness. Yes. Alright, that works. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, it's barely noticeable, actually. That's kind of nice. So how how high up should I make this thing? See, here it looks kind of short, but if you go over here, look at how high it is already. Hmm. I feel like we have to judge it based on this side. And based on this side, we're looking at probably at least two more rows. Yeah, I think two more rows. I ended up doing three more rows to make it slightly taller than initially planned. Plus, now I have to do the wood the wood row so that I can do the slab row of fencing. And I've had to break a lot of these guys. Now, granted... Uh, oh, here we go. These guys, I'm going to remove the ones that are in the middle here. Like, like these, for example, could probably go. Or will have to go, I should say. But I kind of like the fact that some of them are draped over. So I'm hoping I won't have to remove too many of them. Anyway, these guys, or should I use slabs? Let's put just a few down here to test. Okay, oh, this is going to hurt a little bit. Never mind. Um, how come it didn't hurt? Oh, because I have fly enabled. Okay. Uh, all, right, all right, so that doesn't look bad. But let me try with slabs to see how that looks. Now, the slabs, unfortunately, won't will not have that design. They'll just be regular oak slabs. But it might look good. Hmm. I think I do like the slabs better. It looks a little too chunky with these guys. Now, how do I make those just three like that? Do I have a workbench here? I think I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, so if I just do this, six... 12, 18, 24. I don't know why I'm counting them. Here, let's just make... Uh, let's just do a stack. And eight, apparently, because I cannot calculate to save my life. Um, man. I almost feel like it should be taller, but I feel like if I make this side taller, when you're down here... Look at how ridiculously tall it is already. Plus, I mean, these are... I mean, yeah, I guess they, they kind of like climbing and stuff, right? Yeah, the monkeys would, would enjoy a nice tall exhibit. But I think that's tall enough for this side. And then they could have their, their height when they're down here, which is above water. Which is something that, by the way, I've Googled uh, spider monkey exhibits. And apparently they, they enjoy some water in their exhibit. So I don't feel bad about that. Oh, I need a lot more oak. What am I doing? There we go. The top has been completed. I was going to do it one layer above like this, so it has more of a... Up we go. So it has more of a roundish feel, but I'm worried that stuff can spawn on it. So like this, at least nothing can spawn on it. 
right? So it'll be nice and clear. Maybe I'll even hang some lights and stuff from the top. I don't, I'm not proud of the way it looks to be quite honest with you, but that's the top half. You don't really see it at all. I mean, from here, it looks kind of cool. Actually, being inside the exhibit looks a lot cooler from outside the exhibit for some reason. But, uh, yeah. So, this is going to be the um, the Spider Monkey exhibit. It's going to look real nice. There is a concern that I just ran into just now. Uh, oh, look. Another opossum friend. He really likes the uh, African wild dog exhibit. Check this out. Boom! No food left in their stone trough. Now, I did check. Oh, I don't think I checked the leopards. Hold on. Up we go. Man, this fly. <laughs> Let's just put it in regular Minecraft. Okay, so you guys still have some. Unfortunately, I have to go to the farm community farm area and um get some meat. I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you how that's gonna happen. I'll leave that to your um you can draw your own conclusions. Slash warp. We want to go to the end market crates community farm. Wait. No, it's the spawn area. That's where I have to go. I always get confused. It's the spawn area. This beautiful, beautiful spawn area. And it's right down through there. Correction. Not through there. That's the hostile spawns. Through here. As it says in this on this um, floating text here. Passive spawners this way. Well, once again, I got a little carried away with all the decorations without actually recording anything because I place stuff and I remove stuff. And it's just, it's just a long, a long, tedious process. But I think I'm getting happy with the results so far. Check it out. Okay, let me walk you through this, shall we? We've got a combination of grass, this stuff, coarse dirt, and peat going throughout the exhibit. We're not done with the ground cover just yet. Then we've got... This beautiful central log right here. Oh, where are you coming from? Are you up here? How's that even happening? Is it here? Oh, I think it was in the water. We got this beautiful central log up here, of which most of the things, uh, most of the platforms are coming off of. Check this out. I can totally get up every single one of these platforms. If I was a monkey, I think I would love this. Look at that, guys. Ah, I missed that jump there. That's okay. All right, so for the ground cover, I do have a few leaves. I did want to put some stuff in the water. Probably not all this stuff, but we want to kind of muck up the water just a little bit. Just a tiny bit here. There's also a hornet or a wasp in here. What are you exactly, good sir? You are a honeybee. <laughs> I was wrong on both accounts. Then maybe we'll put some lily pads here and here. Okay, good. That looks good. I'm hoping the monkeys don't get trapped underneath and die. That would be bad. Um... The food. I'm not exactly sure what they eat just yet. There's another mystery block here. What is, is are you here? I don't know where these mystery blocks are coming from. Driving me a little bit nuts. Okay, we're just going to ignore it. So, the ground looks really, really nice. I think for this one, we're not going to have too much vegetation. I just want some sparse plants here and there. Um, I should have gotten some bone meal so I can actually make some of this a little bit bigger. Like these two, I want two tall grasses. Maybe we'll have some low grasses instead of two tall grasses. And I think I have that back at the house. I hope anyway. It'll be up in the um, in the previous storage room. Let's go right up this way. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have? Java moss, that's not exactly what I need. Grass. I don't have the short grass. Wilted grass. Ooh. Slash back. How does this look compared to... Oh, nice. Different shade. Perfect. This will do just fine. And maybe put one more over here, and I think we're done. I think it's time to release some of these monkeys. The only issue is... <laughs> hold on. Slash buy... Is it... No. Slash shop. Yes. I got to buy a bunch of these. A, a lot of them. How many do I have? 24. That's probably enough for now. I got to name every single one of these monkeys. I got to tame every single one of these monkeys. It's a lot. And then I got to find out what food they eat. Okay. Let's start with the... I'm guessing they're... Let's put one in there, actually. Oh, I hope I hope we don't get... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to come up with a bunch of names first. So, I'm going to guess that the monkeys are omnivorous because I feel like maybe they eat insects and plants would that make them insectivores i hope not either way i'm gonna need some um 
omnivorous kibble, which requires prickly pears, which I have, eggs, which I have a few of, wheat, which I have, and medium meat, which I do not have. Oh! Unurio, Unurio's claim. Oh, this is a cool little kangaroo exhibit. Oh, this is kind of nice. I've just stumbled upon somebody's zoo claim. Hi, this area will be my zoo. Please don't claim around here. Will do. You know what? I'm not going to spoil. <gasps> oh, I like that. Okay, I'm not going to. No, no. Not ready to be shown. Maybe it is ready to be shown. It's probably not ready to be shown. Okay, I've got a few prickly pears. I've got some eggs. Only four eggs. I don't have any medium meat. So I'm going to go um, looking for medium meat. That would that just might just so happen to be spilled on the floor. I'm not going to acquire it in any other way. Just collecting it from the ground. Just so happened to find a bunch of meat on the ground. It was unbelievable. Oh, speaking of which, I think I should probably eat something for myself. This weather, by the way, super, super <laughs> ominous. All right. Let's get these. I have eight names ready to go. I don't think I'll do all of them today, just because I want to make sure that everything is going smoothly before I put them all in there. Because if I, if I somehow made a mistake, or they're drowning, or they're dying, or there's not enough room, all that wonderful stuff, um, I want to make sure I don't actually kill all of them. So, we're going to do the first eight, which uh, I picked some names for already. So hopefully... Oh, wait, they're over here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll hold this little meat in my hand. Eight. Oh, you know what? This little meat... I have two meat... Or four medium meat. I think what I'll do is put them in here. <gasps> Nailed it. Right in here. Yeah, okay. Oh, I could have just grabbed the medium meat from here in here. I didn't know I had some... I didn't know I had that much in there. All right. Let's go, little monkeys. I don't even know... What do they need for... Um, the, what's it called? The, 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 the thing. <laughs> the third option. I'll, I'll show you in a second. All right. Okay, spider monkey. Food comes in berries. So you... Oh, you don't eat meat at all. You're a frugivore. Okay, well, I'm going to name you before anything happens to you. Wait. You are a, a male monkey. Julian, perfect name. Boom. You are Julian. I will be right back with the proper food. I hope this is not what you're going to be doing the whole time. This is probably what you're going to be doing the whole time. Oh, hi there. Our first visitor. So there's no frugivore kibble. So does that mean... Oh. Okay. How do I... Maybe you can't... Maybe you can't... Maybe you can't? Herbivore, so it's definitely not a carnivore. Insectivore, no. Omnivore, doubt it. Pesca pescivore, no. And shellfish kibble. I don't think so, unless it is indeed... Whoa. Here, let me try the omnivore. I don't think it's an omnivore. Unless I missed something. Come here. Come here. This is for you. <gasps> it is omnivore. Okay, good. Okay, good. We've got 16 of them. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to make some more of these guys. But for now, hopefully this will be enough. Did I feed him twice accidentally? I may have. So how is your enrichment? That's the thing I was looking for. So what do you need for enrichment? Oh rope! There's rope everywhere. And there's one of these. This is great. You're gonna be fine. Okay, good. Um I really wish they climbed. Maybe the next one will climb. <laughs> Let's go. You. Released. You are a female. I will name you Tamara. Beautiful. And you shall also be omnivorous. Uh-oh. Yikes. That was a lot of them. I only have nine left with only six. Oh, I might have to, might have to get some more. Okay, Tamara, you're good to go. Next up. Uh, oh, I'm going to need that. Uh, right here. Thank hey, you. Are a male? I shall name you Boris. And you will also take way too many of these. Dang it. Okay, that's three. They're going to be doing that the whole time. The jumping up. I think what they're trying to do is climb, but they can't climb the fence. 
maybe they'll eventually find their way over to the middle. Ooh, speaking of which, I need to figure out the food for them, right? Melon. I have some berries, prickly pear, apples. Okay, oh, seeds. Perfect. I think I have tons of seeds. And if I don't, I can definitely make tons of seeds. All right, we've got three so far. Next up. Okay. You are a... Wait, did I... Was this one... Was that a male and I named... Hold on. I don't, I don't even know anymore. It doesn't matter. This is... Oh, that's a female. I named it Boris. That's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Here. Oh, perfect. That only took one. You shall be... Katie. Good. Good. <laughs> I don't even care if they're male or female anymore. I'm just going to name them whatever. Um, so this one has... Oh, wait. This is empty. Empty. Here we go. Another spider monkey. You shall be... Well, first let's make sure you're... Oh, man. And I have none left. This is going to be the last one. And you're going to be Julie. Uh-oh. Did I name the right one? Tamara. Julie. Katie. Okay, Boris. They're all here in the corner. They're all having a great time. Except for this one. Julian. Julian's a bit of a loner. All right. So, I need to go back. Get as many seeds as I have. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Maybe some blueberries as well. Why not? Let's enrich their diet. I have so many seeds. There's some sweet berries. More seeds. Maybe I'll just give them the seeds because I have so many of those. And I might need the berries for other things. Beetroot seeds. Do they take beetroot seeds? I don't know. I can't remember. Doesn't matter. We have so many seeds. It's going to be fine. All right, boom, 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 boom. And then I have another bowl down here, or bowls. Oh wait, it's not down here, it's at the top. It's up there. I wanna take, I, I could fly up, but I like, oh dang it. <laughs> I could fly up, but I like actually taking their, uh, their route. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, whoa, all right, nailed it. And they'll put these, ooh, not the torches. We'll put these seeds in here. And that is going to be it for today's episode. I've got a lot more of these to tame, to release, and name into this exhibit. But I really, really like it. I think it looks looks really nice. Let's look at it from the outside before we go. I mean, if I was a monkey, I'd be pretty happy with this. Right? It's It's got so much, so much room for activities. Oh, did uh, Julian come up? I think Julian did. All right, little monkeys. And I'm not just talking about you viewers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, this is a free-to-play server. All you got to do is download the mod pack, which there is a link to in my description. And then just join the server and play. Lots of people enjoying themselves here on the server. And, uh, and I'm seeing a lot of really cool exhibits and ideas. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye, everybody. That's what they said. <laughs>